What's going on guys and welcome, welcome your faces to a brand new Satisfactory video. Hopefully you're doing well, hopefully you've had a good little holiday break, I know I have, even though I have rested a lot and all this kind of stuff, I spent time with the family and had Christmas dinner and all that kind of good stuff and uh, hopefully you did too. If you didn't, happy holidays, hopefully you just relaxed and just gamed and chilled out, binge watch TV shows and just had a good little relaxing session. So 2024 is literally knocking on the door right now. And as you know, I always release my save at the end of the year, as well as the blueprints I've been promising you uh, with the Mark II uh, highway that we've developed within the Satisfactory series. Um, and I'm gonna go over that with you in a second and show you the individual pieces and all this kind of good stuff. But I just wanted to thank you all for an amazing 2023 uh, that could be here on YouTube or if you've come over from Twitch, uh, I appreciate you, you know, more than ever it's been the biggest year for me as a content creator um got my own place moved out of my mother's place and all this kind of stuff so i couldn't have done that without years um and i'm just looking forward to where 2024 is going to take us as a community and all that kind of good stuff so without further ado i think i'm going to take you into the game show you the the blueprints that i'm going to be providing uh, and if you want to get any of these blueprints go into the description below Give the Discord a click uh, and you'll see all the, the 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 files and everything within the uh, bits blueprints under the bits category. Um, so that's where you can find the save for this um, this year uh, and the, well, this save uh, and also the blueprints, which will be in a separate folder from the save as well. Big disclaimer, though, um, if you do want to try to load up the save, it is very, very taxing on your system. Um, last time I released the save, which was the, I think it was the start of this year, or maybe the end of last year, um, this was prior to update eight. Uh, we had two people's PCs, well, GPUs, actually break. Um, they had to go out and get new GPUs, uh, which was, uh, which sucks. We also saw um, some other people uh, artifacting uh, within the save, or some weird world manipulation stuff happening. Uh, and as soon as that happened, uh, Snut literally DM'd me instantly and was like, yo, send us your save. They had a look at it and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and we found out it was to do with the signs. And uh, I went into the uh, Satisfactory Calculator and just removed all the signs from my game that I was using for lighting. And we was optimized. I've already talked about this in a previous uh, Satisfactory video within the Let's Play. But that was the main cause of it, if you didn't see that piece uh, and all that. But... It's now been optimized with an update eight. So obviously we've got Unreal Engine 5, the signs have been optimized and all this kind of good stuff. So hopefully it, uh, uh, everything's fine, but I do recommend, uh, you know, just take precaution when you load up the save. Uh, it might take a while to load and all this kind of good stuff, but without that, with, with that out the way, let's jump into Satisfactory and let's go over these blueprints. All right, so as you can tell, I am in creative mode and I have got uh, fly mode on as well. Just to kind of get an overview of all of these blueprints here. So we can see we have the pillar section, which we have the top, the middle and the base. Obviously, when it comes to base building, for those that don't know, when it comes to highways, especially you want to build from the highway to the ground and not from the ground to the highway. Uh, reason being, obviously, if you build from the ground, you might miss a line or the height and all that kind of stuff. It's just gonna be a nightmare so always build the top piece of the highway first which is you know the top pillar the support and then build downwards to the ground because uh, the ground one is more than likely going to clip a little bit through the ground and the, the world you want to get it as close as possible but then we've also got the main highway itself so we've got the three piece which is basically blank with a sign underneath with the underglow so some of you might have already downloaded the mark ones which was a while back but because of recent updates and changes to my highway that was needed i found out i needed a lot more trains than i needed as well um so uh, i've had to adapt my whole train line and this is the the design we kind of come up with so i can have the trains on the top layer and i can also have the trains on the bottom layer this line uh, this track right here is just for demonstration purposes uh, this is not actually part of this blueprint but um you can see how that fits literally into that little section there and then up here as well you can have this as a train highway or you can have this for a trucks it does fit trucks so that's entirely up to you um it is a lot wider but down here it's obviously i think the main purpose of this if you wanted to is could you could have some fix it carts going in here about a thousand of them to go and deliver what they want to deliver uh, and then an empty gap here in case you wanted to do anything regarding 
just decoration for yourself or if you wanted to bring some belts in here some pipes or even just attach them underneath uh, as you might have noticed from the mark one uh, blueprints i released last year uh, i've removed the pipes from me i didn't utilize them so there's no point in me adding them into this and i've also removed the hyper tubes that was on top as well um because i wasn't using them either um and it was just a just kind of just sitting there and not doing anything um then we've got so this one is just basically with zero lights this one is exactly the same here but with a light pillar uh, these are automatically programmed uh, with the color and set to night mode of what i have within the uh, the blueprint uh, and to get to the power so them two are actually connected underneath which is behind this uh, billboard uh, but the actual connections are actually come onto either side here so you've got easier access to get to them as well um, and then also we've got the individual pieces so this one and this one is exactly the same one has the light one doesn't um, and then this one here is basically the same except they've got pillars uh, to give you a, a bit more of a structural support because uh, otherwise the top section might look like it's floating every now and again um, but these pieces are basically for like fillers so if you come into a turn you might want to turn or a, a ramp and you just need that one extra piece instead of building a three piece and then um you know having to remove the whole bits of it and all that kind of stuff so they these are basically filler pieces and then at the end uh at the end the end we actually have the ramp piece as well this one's a bit of a a, a a pain in the butt to put down but it will be in there and i'm going to show you how we do that as well right so to build the layout that i normally build with is i go into my blueprints and i go down here so these are the ones that you guys are going to be getting and they'll be available in the discord via the google drive link as well uh, and uh, what it was going to be is I always go with uh, highway, uh, one times highway with pillar and lights. So I always put this down as my first one. Uh, the reason being, I'll show you that in a second. Um, so we've got this one and then I always go with a three piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hold E and I can actually see the other pieces that are part of this highway. And I'm going to put down a three times highway with lights. And I'm going to change my build mode to blueprint by just pressing R, rotating it, and then making sure the arrow is facing to the left in the direction I want to be going, of course. Place that one there, and then place that one there. And then I go back by holding E again and go with uh, one times with pillar and lights again. And this is kind of the standard layout I kind of go with. So it gives the, the top section, you know, some support with the, the pillars underneath. Uh, and all that kind of good stuff but now you must be wondering but then pillars are a different distance the here to here and then what i kind of do to kind of fill that in is if you might have noticed on my highway i've got power towers so if we go into power and then go down into power towers we can kind of see i place one of these normally in that gap it's entirely up to you if you want to that's in the wrong position is it no that's right that's right um, but that's in the the, the position there uh, and it just kind of separates it uh, a, a little bit as well it doesn't clip through the uh the billboard oh but what i do advise you to do as well law before placing the pillar is attach these two power lines here otherwise you might have a you know a bit of an issue because obviously we can't connect power lines within blueprints to another blueprint and belts or pipes and all that kind of stuff as you might know by now some of you might not know uh, but let's put this back into the middle here and then we put that there uh, and now we've got the power tower in the middle of this highway and this is kind of like a standard formula i kind of go with here um obviously i keep all my power lines connected uh, but obviously connect that one to that one and go down here then i'll connect this one to this one uh, and all that kind of good stuff uh, but if we go into transport and go into railway we can i always put my rail on this line here on this on this side just like this and then down here, it fits perfectly within this little gap here as well. But like I said, you could utilize that gap up, up, up uh, on the top for whatever you want. You might want trucks. Uh, but if you do 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 trucks, do uh, do, lol, um, you, it might clip through here uh, uh, and it might cause an impact. So maybe look into something else. Uh, you more, you Like I said, you're more than welcome to do whatever you want with these designs. Copy my whole highway. I don't mind. I do get a lot of people saying, I don't want to copy it and all this kind of stuff because it's, it's yours just do it i i i don't care just copy the design and all this kind of stuff just enjoy it uh, and utilize the highway for what it is you know uh, at the end of the day so um all the lights are already programmed and all this kind of stuff um but then that is basically it and then what it come down to is the the ramp 
Um, so how we do the ramp, because if we snap a blueprint here, what we want to do is the first one, we want to snap it to the actual blueprint. So we're going to place this one here. And then the next ones we can't, because as you can see, when it snaps, it's it drops the, the, the you know the, the the blueprint level of the previous one, which is not correct. What we want to do is we want to press R and go back to default mode. And then we want to aim literally at this piece right here between them two foundations. So we're going to rotate it, make sure it's facing the right way. And we're going to aim right there until the green line comes up, meaning it's obviously it's aligned and all that kind of stuff. So when the green line pops up, place. Then we come over here and do the same again. Uh, it is a pain in the pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm in fly mode, so it's a little bit easier for me right now. Uh, but once you you know you're trying to do this with a jetpack or a hover pack and all that kind of stuff, it can be a bit more of a pain in the ass. What I do recommend is once you have got it lined up, is to press H, which then goes locks the hologram into place. So lock it, press the right and left keys uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have requested, I have spoken to the devs that hopefully we can f get a vertical um, um, moving with the um, uh, the hologram locking. So we can press like hold shift and press up and it'll actually go up instead of like, you know, on a horizontal axis uh, and all that kind of stuff. So once it's all lined up, you can do all of that. And then when you go back from the top again, all you need to do is just go into uh, grab your... Uh, blueprint obviously highlight blueprints now we can do this in update 8 uh, and then press the middle mouse button we can actually copy it and then we can come over here and then just snap this back onto here we have to use the default one straight away for this bit uh, but once it's aligned place that down uh, the other thing you might have noticed um, is that with these blueprints these don't actually connect for some reason um, if you wanted to and if it does bother you it does bother me hence the reason I do this is I go into here, I remove, I leave the, the ones at the bottom or the top, whichever you, direction you're coming from, and I delete these just like this. And then I go back in and I grab this one and then I zoop this all the way to the top. And then I, I can I can find a kind of fix that here. So what I'll do is I'll go here, grab myself a pillar like that, and then take that down to there, just like so. And then I get that to clip through that pillar. So I attach it to the end of this uh, beam right here and then take that to the top. And it leaves a little bit of a gap. I'm not too worried about that, but at least it fixes the gaps that's in those. You might like these. Uh, it might look like a little chain link kind of thing if you wanted that look. Um, but I don't have these thing. I usually build these manually. Uh, and then you can kind of just build on. So you just grab the other blueprints, uh, make sure blueprint mode uh, selected again, and then you can just build the highway and you can see how easy it is to build obviously it's a very demanding build um so you know resources and all this kind of stuff i've built this in creative mode so my resources in my inventory aren't being used um but a next little thing is a lot of these uh, always ask bits how do you always make your uh train lines so clean when going up up and down ramps and stuff and i'm going to show you that as well this is kind of like a most people know this um but for those that don't know uh, when it comes to a ramp, I always place the end of the uh, rail on the first foundation at the bottom of the ramp. So I always place it here like this. Okay. So I place that there. And then it, uh, to place a railway, it needs one foundation and a half. And I always bring this from there to the half of this ramp right here. Like that. And then I do the same up here. I take this all the way up to the top. I always place it on the half of the top uh, ramp foundation and then I connect that to the the foundation on the uh, on the top side, just like that. And that's how I usually do my ramps. Because most people, um, where the problem relies is they might be coming up a ramp, it might stop here, but then they take it straight over here because they want to utilize the, you know, the size or reduce the amount of parts they want to use. And what that's going to do is going to cause, you know, clipping through the foundation, all this kind of stuff. So that's one little uh, thing I always do. So again, take it to the half of this foundation, then take it to the end of that foundation and so on. And you can just kind of build on to what you want to do. I always go to the end of the foundations. The reason I do this is because if you want to do a turn, for example, a 90 degree turn, you need three foundations to turn, right? So I'm just going to take this to the end right there, like so. And I'm going to grab a foundation here. So I'm just going to go one, 
foundation, two foundation, three foundation, and then I'm going to go one, two. And this is, for example, if I'm just going to be turning this way. Um, this won't be a realistic scenario. I'm just kind of showing you. So one, two, three, one, two. Uh, best thing for me to do is actually is do it from this side. One, two. And then if I get that piece, attach it to there, take it all the way to here, that is now a perfect 90 degree turn. Uh, and I've explained this in my train guide videos. Then that will take us along here as well. The next thing I want to show you is how I turn a highway. And this is going to go off grid or going back onto a grid and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and how we do this is first thing that we need to do is because blueprints can't really turn on uh, blueprint. You, you can do turning blueprints, but it's the same way if you're trying to do uh, vertical ramps and all this kind of stuff. So what we want to do is we want to go underneath and go to the end foundation and just zoop that all the way across like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove that one, this one, this one, and this one. Technically, we don't need to remove these three as long as we've got one. And then come to the end, remove these. So we want to be one foundation lower compared to the other uh, highway. We're then going to go into here and we're going to do my turning method. This is a method I learned from a content creator on Twitch called DC1. Um, go check him out. I'll put a link in the, uh, the description uh, for his channel. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to go into architecture and we want to go to catwalk crossing. This method, there is an easier way to do this with the whole new snapping. And yes, there is other methods, methods of turning. I always prefer this method just because it's cleaner and then walls don't snap in, into each other or kind of clip a little bit. So you, it's noticeable to, uh, to, to me. I'm very... When it comes to the turns, it's I like the smooth turns, and a lot of you guys compliment on the turns and wonder how I'm doing them as well. And I have gone over this a few times, and this is one of the old methods of turning it. It's one of the original ways. There is a faster way of doing it now. Um, so one thing we want to do is we let's just remove these here. We're just going to go into here. We're going to grab ourselves a catwalk crossing, and we're going to place this in the bottom right hand corner of this foundation on the outside. If you want to turn your highway left, you need to do the turn from the right hand side of the highway. If you want to turn right, you want to build it from the left. So I will put that in that crossing on the left hand side here. I'll remove these, but then put that there. But let's go back over here and we're going to then place this catwalk crossing, like I've said, into this position. We're then going to get a one meter foundation and we're just going to place that there. Right. So this is going to snap onto this walkway, but it's also encroaching onto this one by clipping into this quarter. We're then going to grab another one meter but this time we're going to aim in the center of the foundation we've just placed, hold control, and we're going to rotate it by one degree. I say one degree, but like one snapping point. And then we'll go back here. We can see this is now on a turn. We're going to grab this catwalk, catwalk crossing here, and then we're going to build one right there. And then we're going to place this foundation back to here. And then we're going to remove these two. The reason we did all of that is so we can get this foundation to go onto this corner right here. So then this this aligns with this foundation here. And then we're going to place this one underneath here, just like that. And now we have a slow little turn. These will create wider turns. I recommend using the walkway turns if you want like steeper turns. It is a little bit quicker, which you can do this by grabbing yourself a catwalk crossing. You can just grab this by turning this one degree. Uh, you can then zoop that by two, go back here again. And you can see this is a lot quicker if you want to do some easier turns. Uh, but the only problem with this is you're going to be having the steeper the turn, the more clipping your foundation is going to be going into. Uh, so you can do that. So I'm going to go back into kind of like a realistic scenario here because I'm flying in creative and show you how I'll build this. So I'm just going to disable fly mod. So now that we've landed, uh, obviously I've got gravity affecting me. This is how you build it from, you know, your first person if he was building in vanilla. So you place that there, place that there, grab another foundation, place it on top, rotate it by one degree. Uh, most of the time, because I've just rotated the foundation just to show you another example, uh, what's uh, the, 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 the turn should automatically snap for you. Then we're going to place this back down here, remove these two, remove that foundation. I always land on this cr uh, cross in here to delete these two. Remove that one and there. And then again, I'll do this one a little bit quicker. Place that there. You can see it's automatically rotated by a snapping degree. And then place this here. Bada bing, bada bosh. 
remove that one place that one under there and so on muscle memory is the reason i still do it this way and this method there is other methods to doing this now uh because obviously the, the whole new snapping things we've got uh, and then i'll take the cut the turn all the way around the corner right so the next thing is as you can tell i've kind of just took this curve all the way around the corner then all you need to do is just grab the foundations and then just take them just like this don't snap these uh, and take it along that way just grab it from the outer turn and take that inwards by three and that will be the f the bottom length of the highway and all you need to do is just keep taking this around like so like this and place that down and then when you get to the end this is where i want to show you something else because this will probably come up in the comments if i don't mention it now is how do i now because i've done one of your turns that you do is how do i then snap that to an already existing grid or factory that i have so i'll put a little demonstration out here so if we go back here we can kind of see this grid is the same one that we've just built off but if we bring this down here we can see it's just off by a little bit right uh, some of you might be wondering oh that doesn't make sense you built it from that grid and you're just turning 90 degrees why is it not going back on don't ask um obviously the degrees that we're turning here so how we fix this and or, or how i fix this is if we look at this all we need to do is just kind of shift this so what i do is let's just say for example the factory is uh here right I want my highway to be aiming a little bit to the right of this central bit. So I'm going to remove this turn there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the outer edge. Let's just say this doesn't belong here, for example, just so it's easy for you guys to understand. And we're going to grab ourselves a um, beam. And we're going to aim it right there on the edge of that foundation. And then we're going to we're going to change it, make sure it's set to free form by pressing R. Then snap into that foundation there. And we're just going to do that. We're then going to go to the edge here. I'm going to count four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to place this along. We're going to change it to default now and bring it in by four meters, which is in the brackets in the center. And then what we're going to do is then we're going to go to this side as well. So we're going to go from this side. So this is already classed as one from this side. Just keep that in mind. And then go two, three, four. These are very close together. So this might not be the best example. And then from this side, we're just going to grab ourselves a foundation. And then we're going to aim at this closest one right here. This closest beam, right? And because of how close I've done this, this is not the best example. I'm just going to grab this one here. Place this here just so I can see the other one. So now I can see this one right here, but this one is still aligned to that one that I've just deleted. So then I'm going to grab this foundation and then I'm going to aim there, right? And now I'm just going to put this one back by snapping it to the edge of this one. And I've just removed that. What this is going to do now, we've now realigned uh, ourselves back to the grid here, okay? Uh, and then all we can do is we can just literally just take that down there by there and grab this one and take that back down there. And now we're kind of back onto the grid. Yes, you're going to see some Z fight and all this kind of stuff. This can be fixed as well, but it takes a lot of patience, a lot of time. And something I can kind of quickly show you, if you want to get rid of Z fighting within foundations, all you need to do is grab yourself a pillar. Uh, we're going to take this to the edge of this foundation here. Grab yourself a uh, road barrier. Like so. And then you're going to raise it up by a pixel, literally by a pixel. So raise the, found, the, the barrier up by a little bit, like there, and then place that foundation. Well, actually, it didn't even move up, but you can kind of catch my drift there. Just raise it up a tiny little bit, then snap the foundation to that barrier. It then raises it by a pixel, which then removes the Z fighting, but keeps everything at a little bit level and all that kind of stuff. But that is how you basically connect your grids together by using that method. What I could do, to be honest, to make it easier for you to show you a better example is by making it, this a bigger gap, we're gonna do the same method. So we're gonna go here, but now we're gonna grab ourselves the painted beam. We're gonna take it from here, and then we're gonna take it to that corner again. We're then gonna go from here, from the end, and go one, two, three, oh wait, one, two, three, four. And then take that in by default. I've got an auto saving coming, so quick skip. 
Okay, auto save done. So like I said, go four from there and then take that in four meters. Go from this side, already class this as one, two, three, four. Take that in by four meters. Grab this foundation, aim at that uh, pillar that we just took in. Place that there with a default. Go to this side, grab this foundation and aim it at that one. And then just do that, just like that. And you can see how that then aligns to the, obviously remove your, the pillars that are going through here. Uh, and you then creating a one grid snap into another grid and it's just as simple as that then like i said before all you need to do just take these over make sure you match every single foundation you take over this then eliminates any holes uh, in in the middle of that and then you know by decorating and having your train tracks going over this it will eliminate the z fighting because it'll be you know hidden anyway um so what i will do then is i will then grab my train track and I'll place that down. Uh, sorry, no, I need to show you the blueprint. My bad, show you the blueprint. Uh, so now that we're below, I'm, I was getting ahead of myself here. So now that we're gonna put these back into how it was on this side of the uh, highway, like so. Bada bing, bada bosh. So the highway is back to normal. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our blueprints. We're then going to grab the highway um one times highway which is this one right here we're going to make sure the arrow is facing obviously the direction it doesn't really matter it's kind of vice versa anyway so and then we're going to go and we want to aim let me remove that we want to aim it at this center foundation here okay we don't want it to snap to the blueprint we want to make this by building it default and we're going to do this for every single one so we're going to aim at that central location there to build it and it should just overlap this edge of this foundation here. And then we're going to do the same for this. So let me show you. So let me just quickly grab the uh, blueprint for that. So we're going to grab the one times highway. We're then going to go here. Like so. I'm going to press H just to lock it into place. And I just want to see it if everything's lined up. You can kind of see it's kind of lined up here. This is all up here as well. And the turning. And then I'm going to place it. So I'm just going to click. And then I'm going to come down here as well. So I'm going to aim at this foundation. And then I'm going to place, aim at that foundation, place, aim there, place, and so on. Once you get used to it, you won't need to, you know, press H to lock it in. But you can kind of see how this works out. And you can just take that all the way around the corner. And then all you need to do after that is go underneath and remove the foundation that you initially made the, the, the turn out of. So I'm going to quickly uh, finish this uh, curve and then we can take it from there. Right, and then there you have it. And all I've done is I've literally took that all the way around the corner. We've then got a turn within the highway, and it's just a matter of now clearing it up. If you wanted to, going through these corners, you can just quickly go back into your blueprints and grab yourself the one with a pillar. So you can actually make, you know, pillar increments in here as well. Uh, and it's just as easy as that. Like, I know it's... I say it's easy as that, but, you know, I've been doing it a while, so it is kind of easy for me. It will take some time to get used to, so just take your time with it uh, and, you know, use this video, repeat it, go back and just rewind it and just see how I do things and even slow the video down if it helps you to learn it. Um, and to be honest, that is pretty much it with the highway. So hopefully you, you enjoy them uh, and do what you wish with them and make sure you share your pictures in the Discord with what you do with the blueprints and, uh, you know, is is enjoy it's a little uh so it's a project i've been working on for you know many 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 months is this highway and it is my little pride and joy so um like i said enjoy the save enjoy the blueprints have a wonderful rest of your, your year and i will see you uh in another video next year which is technically a couple of days from now so keep smiling and i'll see you in another video